down in D.C., home of Monica Lewinsky's lips, Clarence Thomas's hips. It's a big boy. And, of course, Watergate. So, excited to be here. Yeah, we're here in Washington, D.C., uh, week two of the tour. Getting the preseason stuff out of the way. You know, am I nicked up? Yeah. Yeah, I am. But you just keep pushing. You know, if you can't get through the preseason, what, you know, how the hell are you going to get through the regular season? You know, it's a, it's a mindset thing. You know, these dick jokes aren't just going to tell themselves. We're here. Washington, D.C. In these beautiful, uh, these beautiful streets. If I got a broken rib and I got a laugh on stage, I'm acting like it doesn't hurt. Well, you guys have seen the footage of Drew Brees, you know? I'm a grown man cry, but I'm a muscle through. This is where it all started, dude. I, don't know, I actually didn't hurt anything. I have a, a bruised ego, uh, but that's constant. That's just living in LA, <laughs> you know? Yeah, being in Washington, D.C. is crazy. It's, uh, you know, it's where some some major decisions have been made by some of, some of the greatest minds in America all live here. The greatest minds, you, you a lot of people would say. The more you read on it, I'm a lot like this guy. Like crotch campfires. I love hats. You know, I'm from the middle of America. I've lost a lot. Just waiting on the wind. His was bigger than mine might be. I don't know. You never, you never know. If you guys continue to share, comment, and like, maybe I'll be bigger than him. And also, good public speakers. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm pretty much running for office every time I'm on stage. So I get that. When you come to D.C., you gotta, you gotta hit some museums. This is the, this is the interior of the portrait gallery. Here in D.C., I got one portrait I want to see. George W. Bush, probably one of the funniest people ever. Let him drop a Netflix special. Act like you're not watching. You know what I mean? He did the reverse Hitler. Hitler started as a painter, ended up as a politician. What Bush do? Started as a politician, ended up a painter. But now he's painting now, yeah. So, yeah, I think he's number one for me. The original comedian. The GOAT, best city planner ever. So I see with too many buildings, he said, let's knock these two down. Put one up there. You know, a lot of people say Donald Trump was funny. Go back, watch the tapes. And he dodged a shoe on stage. I, I, I got a beer poured on me the other night. I couldn't even dodge that. You know what I mean? He's dodging a shoe, coming pretty quick. I'd like to think at some point, somebody's like, dude, we should make a monument to kind of let people know what we stand for in this city as a government, you know, to the people. Someone's like, dude, we should, we should make a big old dick to let them know we're always gonna be fucking them. It's like, dude, should we make it soft, veiny, with a rounded out top? And they were like, no, let's do concrete with a pointy tip to let them know it's always gonna hurt when we fuck them. I actually didn't know, did a little bit of research. I guess it's dedicated to George Washington. I, I just thought it was a monument that was dedicated to the city. Is that an homage to his cock? I hope not. I hope he had a regular looking dick. Or what if the rumor around town was, dude, I heard, heard GW's got, got a dick like a lawn dart. Either way, the Washington Monument. I'll tell you right now, when I die, if the gravestone isn't as big as that, don't even fucking, don't even just fucking shoot me out of a cannon like fucking Hunter S. Thompson. Fuck you. It's either this or a cannon. I just think like how many dumb things have happened in one building. Like decisions have been made that have helped zero people. Well, I guess I'm a straight white male in America, so maybe not, I've been, I've been helped. I got eyes on the, the Senate or the Capitol building, the US Capitol building, where uh, some rowdy, rowdy people that look a lot like me stormed a couple years back. I can confirm, I know where I was that day. Now it's starting to, to rain. Well, I've had this epiphany and I don't know what that 
does that mean? It's this is a that This is the beginning of the end for whites in America. I was probably dodging my bookie because it was a Tuesday, if you remember, and I put a pretty hefty bet on Monday Night Football. So that would, I could, wouldn't have, wouldn't have found me in D.C. I'll tell you that right now. I definitely like to unwind and kind of clear my head before, you know, diving into the comedy. So I like to kind of dive into the cities that I'm in. What they say is you got to get the Mambo wing. And my wing goes. They came in to go box, which I respect right off time. They're like, I know you're dining in, but also you could leave if you want. It's not all politics. They got good food. I will say this, this tour is turning into a mini travel blog at this point. I've decided that I'm really just going to these towns to eat more than do comedy. Also, if you have wings that you think are the best wings in your city, let me know. I would go out of my way to try those wings. Big wing boy. Shout out to JT's in Phoenix. It's one of the best wings I've ever had. Let's go Mambo. All right, Mambo sauce. That was good. Never had you before. I realized by the end you don't even need ranch with it. That's a good, that's a good wing sauce. Hard vouch. If you're in DC, fuck with that. By week 18, I feel like I'll be ready for my uh, my pitch to Discovery, and um, you know, hopefully, I'll be able to get enough money to quit stand-up comedy. That's really what this is all about. I'm out here, I'm out here. At Ben's Chili, Ben's Chili Bowl, a Washington landmark. I'm from Cincinnati. We got Skyline Chili. DC supposedly has. As chili as well. I never knew. Yeah, that seems like it'll. That could be. Uh, that could be a day ruiner. That's the type of thing you gotta plan your afternoon around. You know what I mean? You gotta have a five-hour window of. You know this could go wrong. This could alter your day. A day-altering meal. Chat depends to the bowl. It's pretty delicious stuff. I tried the chili dog, I tried the chili burger, and the chili fries, and now I'm gonna try to get home before I ship myself. We should get out of here. Overall though, hard, hard vouch for Ben's Chili Bowl. <clears throat> That's good stuff. I could see that being one of the best meals you ever had when you're just fucking hammered drunk at 3 a.m. making no sense. A type of meal that'll save a fight. You're about to fist fight somebody, but it's like, dude, just let's just go to Ben's Chili Bowl and talk this over. Type of spot you need in the city. You know what I mean? Um, that's classic. I, that makes sense. It's been open that long. Uh, you could, you might have seen too. The older woman in there was talking with people. It's been open for 65 years, like as of last week. That was her breaking it down and kind of talking about what they, what she means to the city. Providing DC with diarrhea since 1958. Ben's Chili Bowl. Don't be shocked if I dyed my hair platinum blonde and I start walking out of chili joints like, this ain't your mama's chili. <laughs> what, hey, what they put in that thing? The kitchen sink? <laughs> yeah, uh, cafe Diners, drive-ins, and dives. Stand-up set. Round two of this thing, um, I was happy with it. Outside of the comedy show, room 808 in DC. It's my homie Martin Amini actually owns the, the room, which is cool. Um, getting mentally prepared, you know what I'm saying? Have you guys heard of Joe Biden? More like, yo, Joe tried in, tried harder then. It's kinda like, I'm trying to figure out if that's gonna hit or. Hey, remember 9-11? That'll, that'll, I will say that. I promise I'll say that. And they will remember. They always do. Hey, some rooms are in just sketchy parts of DC. It's just, it's called Room 808. It's a room. We'll do comedy wherever, bro. I had a game plan, knew what I wanted to do, and you know what I did? I executed, you know, like a good slasher film. Came out there and Killed him. That's a dope, not long ass face. <laughs> what, I got a long face? Yes, sir. What? I don't even tell totally I got a long forehead. I got a long face, I got a whole thing. We did have some hecklers, some rowdy people. Actually from Atlanta, which was interesting because I was just in Atlanta. What was worse for you, 9-11 or 28-3? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
They were rowdy, they were talkative, um, but they were also half a bottle deep of Tito's. I don't know if you know this, but uh, I'll tell you what's undefeated is half a bottle of Tito's. Yeah, nobody's, nobody's winning that battle. We did it. DC, we came and we conquered. We talked shit. I brought up 9-11. Um, you know, I checked a lot of boxes tonight. We did it. Appreciate you, DC. Road Warrior Tour, baby. Let's go. A little late, but finally made it to the Airbnb. But the White House is cool. A little, I don't know, a little too big for me. You know what I'm saying? Is that, do you really need that many bedrooms? It's crazy. I would Airbnb it, own a different property. It's a little tacky for me. And honestly, I would give it a paint job. Is White still in? It's past Labor Day. You know what I mean? Late night creeping on the Pentagon. I had to get eyes on it. I wanted to see for myself where that plane hit or the missile or, you know, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Real ones don't. If you don't, I got YouTube links. Just DM me. A lot of shady shit going on. First of all, it's like 10 p.m. Some lights on in there, dude. There is a young Middle Eastern family that is getting zoomed in on a drone strike right now. I'll tell you that right now. And I realized that, uh, you know, the headquarters for the nation's Department of Defense might be a tough place to get eyes on. I'm one of few people at the Pentagon. Late at night, I am on a watch list. If I get mysteriously killed over the next six months, just know that this is the video that should roll at the very beginning of my documentary. But hey, you know, what happens in D.C. stays in D.C. and uh, on our Department of Defense's computer system forever. The U.S. Capitol, it started raining like I was Eeyore and it was just a cloud over your boy. Um, there is a rainbow now, you can see that. Rainbow by the Capitol building. Only well, took 200 years to let gays get married, but now there's a rainbow over the building. Okay. Next week on Hard Knocks, on the road with Michael Turner.